This is a particularly busy time for the National Health Service. In every part of our system, in primary care, in hospitals, and our colleagues in social care, we know there's ever more pressure. More people with greater health needs. That's part of the story of the National Health Service and our colleagues in social care as well. Part of the challenge for this government, of the start of a new term, is how we deliver on our ambitions to have a more joined up health and social care service, but how we link with our colleagues in education and housing in particular to generally make a difference for people right across our country. I think people in the health service understand those challenges pretty well. I also think all of us know that despite the significant additional investment in the health service in the draft budget, money isn't the answer to all of our challenges and we'll never have enough money to spend. There will always be more that we could do. But building on that significant additional investment at a time of reducing budget, it requires real leadership, not just from me as a politician, but from people in health boards and trusts to deliver what all of us want to see, a high quality, compassionate health service right across the country. But the biggest difference is always made by our staff who deliver the service. When I receive letters praising what the health service has done to save or transform someone's life, what is always made clear is that it's the compassion and the care from our staff that has really made that difference. The health service would exist without me. There'd be other leaders to take my place, but the health service would not exist and deliver that quality without you. I really am tremendously privileged to be in this position and to work with and for you. So ahead of Christmas and the new year, with all the demands that will bring as I'm enjoying Christmas with my family, I know there'll be people in the health service working to deliver that care every single day of the year for every single one of our communities. So I want to end my Christmas message with a simple thank you. I really do recognise all that each of our staff do in some of the most demanding situations throughout the country. It really is a privilege to work for you. Have a good Christmas. I look forward to seeing more of you in the new year.